Hi there. Now in this question, we've got to find the integral of 10x to the power 4 minus 4x minus 3 divided by root x. And it's all integrated with respect to x. And what we've got to do is give each term in its simplest form. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So to do this, what I'd like to do is first of all, just copy down the question. And that is the integral then of 10x to the power 4 minus 4x minus 3 divided by root x. And we're integrating then all of this with respect to x. So when I look at each of these terms, the first two terms, I should be able to integrate no problem at all. But for this term, I need to get it in the form ax to the power n, something like this. And so when I take the 3 over root x, I'm thinking of this as 3 multiplied by 1 over root x. And the square root of x is x to the power half, but because we've got 1 divided by that, that becomes x to the power minus a half. So you've got 3x to the power minus a half. So when we're integrating this then, we've got the integral of 10x to the power 4 minus 4x minus, and now I'm going to write it as 3x to the power minus a half. And we're integrating all of that with respect to x. So in the usual way, when we've got terms like this, ax to the power n type terms, what we do is we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So for the first term, it's going to be 10x to the power 5, and we divide by that new power, 5. For the next term, this is 4x to the power 1, so we add 1 to the power, that's 4x to the power 2, and divide by the new power. And again, for this term here, it's going to be add 1 to the power, so if you add 1 to minus a half, you get x to the power half, and then we divide by the new power. And we mustn't forget a constant of integration. I'm going to use plus c, but you can obviously use any letter you like. Now we need to simplify each term and what I notice is that for this term here the 5 goes into the 10 twice and for the second term 2 goes into the 4 twice and we'll tackle the last term in a moment. So what we've got here is 2x to the power 5 minus 2x squared then and then we've got 3 divided by a half which is 6 so you've got minus 6 x to the power half plus c. And you could leave it like that, that's fine. Or you could take it another step further. You could, for instance, just change that last term to be minus 6 root x, okay, plus the constant of integration. But that's up to you whether you want to do that. 